Hello guys. I am here today to do a review that I did promise that I'm going to do. And guess what? My DSLR camera battery died. So I have to use my Sony 5000, my Sony Alpha 5000, yes. And hopefully it comes out well, but guess what? I was going to do this review some way or the other. I was not going to let nothing detour me from doing this review. I was going to do this review. So I did say I'm going to do a spec on a hair that Jazzy Hair Extension sent to me. And yes, I have the hair in. There it goes. Um, this is their raw hair, which means it doesn't have a name like Brazilian or Malaysian. It's just raw hair. And just have a little wave to it but it looks curly right I'm going to tell you how I get it looking like that so I have it in now from last Monday so it's now one week well sorry Monday will be one week but it's okay I can give you some reviews on it still but I will keep you guys posted as how you know continue where I wear it and how it feels so far I combed the hair this morning that was right around nine o'clock this morning before I go to church. I comb the hair. And so that's my hand going through it. I haven't combed it again. My hand is still going through it. As you can see, no knots, nothing, right? And I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put a picture of the hair right here when I got it. Before I color it, because I get it in a natural brown, so I'm gonna put a picture right here as to what color I got and the state it was in when I got it. And then I'm gonna put a picture right here as to how it looks after I put this dye on it. Guys, I'm telling you, this hair takes color so well. I mean, so well. I mean, over all the hair I've worn, this hair absorbed the color like no man business. It has not a lot of process to or upkeep on this hair. All I do at night is just part in the, the middle, twist it up, put it up here, twist the next side, put it up here, and just tie my head. I do not go to sleep without tying my head, not even my natural hair. So I do tie it up. That's the only thing I do. I do not put products in it because I, for one, is not a product junkie, of course not. So I do not put any product in it. It's just looking this way, just when I'm looking that way. But when I got the hair, what I did, Y'all know about this. Um, there we go. It's the silicone mix, the conditioner. When I got it, I actually washed the hair. I did shampoo, just shampoo it a little bit. Then I color it. Then after I color it and lock the color with those little conditioner that comes in the box, I went in and I put this on it. I put it into a plastic bag and I tied it up. And I left it there for maybe around 20 minutes. I know they said not 20 minutes, 10 minutes, but I left it there for around 20 minutes. Then I went back and I rinsed it out and I let it air dry. And that is why you're seeing all these curls and all these things. Now I have in a 16 inch and 214. And I have, a, of course, a little leave out. So my sewing, and this is not. This is not a wig, and I really believe when you guys are doing hair review, you cannot do hair review with a wig. Reason why, you take that wig off at night. So the wig actually doesn't go through all the process it needs to go through. You don't get to sleep on the hair. You're just wearing the hair during the day and take it back off. But if you really want to give a true review of a hair, I think it should be in a sewing form where you get to sleep with it or keep your wig on and sleep in it and see how the hair holds up through the night. So I have in a 16 and 214 and it's layered a little bit, not that much, just a little bit because I want to keep this hair. And um, again, I'm, I keep going, I do this the entire day. Can you believe it? The entire time I will keep doing this, pushing my hand through it because that's how I know if I have some good quality hair. Now, I do not believe in when, when people said I get a bad batch. If it's real hair, and I know they give you a breakdown of all these follicles and all of these things, but I don't believe in having a bad batch of hair. I just don't believe in it. Maybe there's such a thing, but I don't believe. If I get a bad batch, you change it and give me a good batch. So again, I want you guys to check this company out. 
Their name is Jazzy Air Extension. So it's jazzyhairextension.com. They are located in Atlanta. I mean, I talked about it last week on my previous video, how good their customer services is really good. And yes, they did send me this hair to do a review. And I will keep you guys posted as how the hair is holding up uh, as I, you know, continue wearing. I may keep it in for two months, maybe, yeah. So I'll let you guys know how the hair is doing. Within, after one month, I'll give you a one month review, then I'll give you the two month review, right? But again, it's doing wonderful. I'm not having no snugs, I'm not having no problems. I have maybe, see, I have one strong hair, one. So from all that time that I'm sitting here doing that, I only had one strong. So the wefts are really good. When I said the wefts are really good, you know sometimes when they weft the hair it's just not done properly because um, the wefts are done really well, really well, really well. So again, check these guys out. Again, if you're looking for some good hair, some really good, really raw hair, this is raw hair, which means not being processed. I have even I have even curl it with any iron. But if you're looking for some good hair, check out Jazzy Extension. You will be hearing me talking about Jazzy Hair Extension a lot during my videos because I will be testing their hair, okay? So that's what I do. And remember, guys, this silicone mix, you're only supposed to use it for every four to six weeks. It's not a regular shampoo or conditioner. You're supposed to still condition your hair. Still put your leave-in treatment when you're washing your normal hair. Um, but after four to six weeks, this is like a treatment. So you try to use a silicone mix, okay? After four to six weeks. Just to treat your hair, like when you treat your normal hair. And I'm gonna have some pictures of some hair that I have because I do make wigs. Um, I do do custom wigs and I'm gonna be doing a video on my custom wigs and showing you guys all my custom wigs and tell you how long I have these here. Oh my God. I have all those here on my custom wig. I had them three to four years, nothing less. But I'm gonna show you guys them and how they look and tell you how I take care of the hair. And these are not even expensive hair. These were like cheap hair, but I was able to take care of them. And, all right? So the next thing that I wanted to cover guys, guess what, y'all see my lips? Mm. Yes, I have on nude lipstick. Normally I don't wear nude. Y'all know I'm flamboyant, I do not wear nude. I always try to wear colors, right? So I'm like, okay, it's getting to where it's getting cold and I wanna try something different. So I went to Mac and I was like, oh my God. I try to watch on YouTube, Jackie, I follow her a lot, to see her nude lipstick that she wear for her complexion. And I couldn't understand what Jackie was telling me and I was just so frustrated. So I went into Mac and I was like, oh Lord, I need a nude lipstick, but I'm really scared of nude. I don't know what nude would look like on me. So the girls, they couldn't help me. They were just moving around doing their things. But anyway, I started taking the, each lips, nude lipstick and marking on my skin to see what it would look like. Of course, it doesn't give you the true look, of course. So I found this one called, it's the matte. I love matte lipsticks. Um, it's called the Honey Love. Actually, the one I was looking for, they no longer have it. But this honey love, so that's what I have on. And I was like, oh my God, how is this gonna look on me? So anyway, I was like, I gotta try this. Normally I don't try lipstick, I just buy and go. But I had to try this one. So I tried it and it looked very funny on me. I mean, like, ooh. Anyway, I said, okay, well I'm from boys, I'm gonna try it. I mean, what do I have to lose? So I bought it and I have it on and guess what? I love it. I love it, but guess who love it most? My husband. Because it's very toned. And he doesn't like nothing flamboyant. But I love it, it's actually fit me. What y'all think? Mm-hmm, I actually love it. And they were telling me, oh, I gotta buy the, the pencils to go with. I said, oh no, honey. I go to the beauty supply store. I'm the cheap way. So I go to the beauty supply store. I get the NYX, the eyebrow and I, the eye and eyebrow pencil, and I got it in brown. The same brown they're about to sell me. So that's what it looks like. I don't buy any of my pencils from NYX because the beauty, the beauty supply store has all the color I need. And I get them for $1.99, $2.99. Why would I pay $12 on some MAC pencil? It's impossible. 
What happened? But my lipsticks, yeah, I'll get them from MAC. I'm sorry. I gotta get my lip line from MAC. Um, so that's the color that I have on. Um, check it out, guys. The nude is doing the thing. I am going to maybe go into a different color nude, but that's on another video. We'll talk about all my lipsticks on another video. But anyway, I hope you guys are hearing me because, as I said again, I had to switch cameras. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys pull up this hair company and check out this wonderful hair that I'm rocking. Guys, trust me, it's beautiful. I have no problem, and guess what? I don't like hair problem. I will take it out if it start knotting. But I'll keep you posted. The hair is doing wonderful. It's only been a week. I'll give you a month update on it, and then I'll give you two months update again on it again, okay? My mouth is just bumbling this time. But never mind. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. God bless you guys. See you on my next video. Make sure you subscribe. Do not click away without subscribing. Thank you guys for watching and God bless you all.